Hello viewers, you are welcome to my YouTube channel. Today we are going to be looking at Chebyshev method. In this Chebyshev method, we are going to look at the derivation, how the method is being derived, and we are going to solve simple examples on it. First of all, let's look at the method, how the method is being derived, and we'll go look at a, a first degree equation the first degree equation of this type we may write such a uh, fourth degree equation as as in one that is f of s equals to uh, a naught s plus a1 equals to zero assuming that uh, s root of the equation so we substitute s into the fourth degree equation you have um, you have the expression equals to zero. The solution to get your x, to get that x that makes it to be zero, is very simple to get it. Since it's a first degree equation, it's a first degree equation, we have s equals to minus a1 over a naught. So, but this, this a1, a1 and a naught can be determined. In determining a1 and a0, you should you should ensure that um, a0 is not equal to zero, and a1 uh, can be an arbitrary parameter, which can be determined by the differentiating the the expression f of s, differentiating it once, differentiating it once. So this this is the expression of f of s so we write it in this order Dif differentiating it you have this where a prime the no differentiation with respect to s now it is possible now for you now to substitute a1 and a a naught and a1 from theory into two from theory this is the you make a a1 subject formula here and A not is already given here. You can substitute it into 2. Substitute into 2, which is this, you have this expression. You have this expression and and you see that um, this S sub K plus 1 will give you this expression for K equals to 0, 1, and so forth. Therefore, we can say that um, s sub k plus 1 is equal to s sub k minus f of f k over f k prime k equals to 0, 1, and so forth. So, we can uh, we can bring this s sub k here turn to minus. We are going to make use of this uh, this equation later so let, let we let this function f of s let this function let it no longer be a a first degree equation let it not be a second degree second degree equation that is degree two equation which can be written in this form such that a naught is not equal to zero a naught a1 and a2 can be determined by first of all differentiating this function just like we did in the first degree differentiating it twice differentiating it twice and we have this we have this and this we use the second de the second degree taylor polynomial expansion series as follows which is this we say that this is a second second degree taylor polynomial expansion series is is equal to this year we we truncate uh, order of uh, theory and higher and higher power is being truncated leaving it in this uh, in this way as is as in equation eight so we have uh, the next thing you just have to do is to make this the subject formula making this the subject formula we have a uh, we have uh, minus fk over f 
f prime k minus 1 over 2 in bracket minus f f k over f f k prime square then f k prime 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 over f k prime so this expression now this one is being represented by this as you have we were able to show this in uh, equation 8 equation 8 this that is s s sub k plus 1 minus s sub k is equals to minus f k over f prime k so this is what we use in in this um, equation 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 in this equation here yeah. so by the time you square you, the minus sign will go away and we have this we can rearrange this to give this which is we will now say that uh, uh, f k plus 1 f sub k plus 1 is equals to s k f sub k minus f k over f prime of k minus 1 over 2 f f raised to power 2k minus f prime uh, cube k then f prime prime k so this this what the the attrition of this type is what we refer to as a chevy chef method the attrition of this type is what we refer to as a chevy chef method thank you